Um, and I did find, just found that article that I was not able to find before, and I'm going to put it on the camera real quick. This is from the Metro and Iowa section of the Des Moines Register. This is Tuesday, November 23rd, that edition. Um, council votes to toughen rules for stores. And so that, again, came from our food desert and urban gardening issue. Grocers and pharmacies would have to get a smaller share of their sales from alcohol and tobacco. New regulations that will require certain businesses to collect less of their income from alcohol and tobacco sales were endorsed Monday by the Des Moines City Council. Council members voted 7-0 to approve the first of three readings of the new ordinance. The rules are driven by concerns about disruptive criminal activity that has been reported around some stores. People gather at these places, and that's according um, to someone who um, I may mention, uh, uh, Chris Coleman, and it's a population of people we shouldn't be encouraging to gather in residential areas, he said, to applause from supporters of the zoning change. And the supporters of that zoning change are from the community surrounding that store. So they're entirely justified um, in making their voices heard on that issue uh, right in, in their communities. And this is from Carpenter, Drake, Drake Park, King Irving, Mondayman, Mondayman Presidential, and Riverbend neighborhoods. And I say good on them for um, speaking up and out about something that's happening in their community and then actually following up at the city council meeting to make sure that those changes were made to make their communities better. Um, they definitely deserve uh, their applause. Um, even as they applauded the city council, they should applaud themselves um, for following through. Um, and I applaud them too. Currently, businesses that operate as grocery stores or pharmacies are required to have at least half their gross income come from merchandise sales other than liquor, wine, or beer unless they obtain a conditional use permit from the Zoning Board of Adjustment. Under the new rules, those businesses will be required to have at least 60% of their gross income come from the sale of merchandise other than liquor, beer, or tobacco products. And um, the article does go on. And I'll just finish um, what Frank County, our mayor, said. Mayor Frank County emphasized that the rules aim to improve public safety, not discourage responsible business owners. And I, I do think that it's important that our communities hold our business members who are a part of the communities responsible for how they treat us and then for what they allow to happen on their property to, you know, that our houses surround. Um, we should not tolerate that type of bad behavior. And so I think they did the right thing and I support them and I admire them. Great on you and thank you very much, Des Moines City Council. Um, the final article that I'm gonna read is also from the same paper, um, since it was buried under the, everything. I'm gonna go ahead and read this also, um, this article also. And this is from the Iowa Politics Insiders, Tuesday, November 23rd, page 3B, DOT, Department of um, Transportation, bid documents to be online free. All weekly construction bid letting pro reports and tabulations of highway bids will be posted online free of charge, the Iowa Department of Transportation said Monday. The step will increase access to public documents, very important. The state agency will no longer offer print versions of the reports, which is expected to save taxpayers $3,000 annually in printing and processing costs. Great. Um, suppliers, contractors, consultants, and others can subscribe to an email distribution list and receive notifications when updated, when updated bid lending information is posted to the state's website. So information is all around us. It's in our communities. It's on the internet. It's on the radio. It's on the newspaper. It's in our major newspapers. It's in our alternative papers. It's at our neighborhood association meetings. It's at our council meetings. And so we definitely should stay engaged and aware of what's happening all around us and then make our own contributions too. Um, I'm, I want to thank you very much for joining uh, Blue Green Fusion for the 10th episode, which was a pol public policy roundup of what's happening here in the city of Des Moines and around the state of Iowa. 
Next week, we'll be joined by Bill Stowe, director of the City of Des Moines Public Works Department and city ma uh, assistant city manager, and get his input on stormwater management. That's part two. And then maybe he'll also give us an update for what we, what we can expect this winter. You can send your comments anonymously, anonymously via me um, ahead of time um, so I can assemble those um, in a narrative for Bill Stowe. You can also chat live on the air and send your questions if you log into Des Moines Amplified.com. Thank you again, Iowa, and have a great Saturday.